Okay, so today we're going to go to the Smithsonian, which maybe allegedly has a ton of sloths, sloths and poison dart frogs and a ton of real cool creatures that they've got up on the hill somewhere. So we're gonna go try and find it. Hopefully it's open. It is Sunday. Sunday, so you never know. But it seems like Sunday is Panama's like action day. So I think our odds of it being open are pretty good. If, if it's not open, we're bringing the laptop, laptop. for our dollar beers at the Hacienda. Hacienda dollar beers. And we just flew the drone for the first time. So we uh, kind of need the first, their, well, first time, first off, time off the boat. So we need their power to yeah. recharge the drone so we can do it again. Yeah, that's tons of fun. Real cool shots. We didn't even crash. Oh, and we just got this backpack back. We traded all the movies and TV shows on our hard drives to a boat next to us, and they sewed our backpack strap back together for us. Mmm, movies are currency. So now Justin can stop wearing my pink backpack around. It's starting to smell kind of funky too. Oh, oh there's Kevin. Kevin's ready, we gotta go. This is Quantum. Hey, are you uh, ready for me to come pick you up? Yeah, you guys too, you come. So we both forgot to wear sunscreen, so <laughs> maybe there's shade over there? It's Hopefully. It's pretty sunny out now. We didn't even pack any, so. All right, let's go. We're heading to the Smithsonian, which we're told is that way. That way. Excited, Dale? Yeah, I'm gonna see some slots. Halfway there. Oh, it's really hot today. Oh, look. This is it. Okay. Put it in the wallet. Money goes in the wallet. Gracias. Gracias. How much was it, Dev? It was $14, $7 per person for non residents. Who gets a bird bath? There's a baby sloth. Nice. And turtles? Can I use a separate residence? You look kind of Panamanian. I don't know, maybe she would have asked for ID if I said yes. ID? And then there's What's like that? a policeman and a security guard and I would have been caught lying. Yeah, we would have been locked away. I do want to leave Panama, not stay here in prison. Yes, please. Okay, so we got this little pamphlet. I guess it's our ticket, because we didn't really get tickets, but you pay for tickets. And inside, we have a little map. So, we are probably here at the entrance, and it looks like first we'll hit up Crab Beach, followed by some mangroves. Naughty little raccoons might meet us halfway. Followed up, we could have a picnic, but we didn't bring food. And then we could throw up in the garbage after hiking, and then have another picnic. But then you might have to stop to see the iguanas in the, the dry forest. Afterwards, you will see some upside down orangutans. And then you get in a car, possibly steal one from the parking lot because we didn't bring a car. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's hit up the uh, Smithsonian. At low tide, you'll see several kinds of crabs walking or running on the beach. Watch them carefully to learn how they find food and mates and avoid being eaten because there's birds everywhere. And they like right. crabs. I like crab too. Not the little ones though. I like the big ones. The big ones. Find yourself up there, Dale? Not yet. That one's about the size of you. Which one? I don't know, the two big ones. I'm a big frog? Quick, Dale, quick, 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 quick. So frogs, 
breathe through their skin, which is super cool, but they're also super susceptible to pollution because they just absorb it right through their skin. This place is loaded with frogs and information. Definitely a good idea to check out what was in this building. Okay, Dale, what is it that you want to go see so bad? <gasps> Wait, that's not a real turtle. The turtles! <laughs> Tortuga. Why are you washing your hands? Because we get to touch something. Yeah, she wants us to touch them. Do you want to wash your hands so you can touch? No, that's okay. I'll touch for both of us? Yeah, you touch for both of us. Okay. Let's they are very sensorial on like hard little balls. They have like spines around their body because they are invertebrates. So these spines help them uh, to get like the shade mm -hmm. and to protect themselves from other uh, animals. <laughs> Stars. No. This one is eating right now. That's the stomach. So let me place it over here. So they got the mouth in the center, mm -hmm. and these little structures are called uh, feet. They use that to move and to stick to some surfaces. Mm -hmm. So they are pretty important because they eat dead animals and they keep the bottom of the ocean clean. Look at all of his little feet stuck to the wall. Uh. God, this one's like feet are going crazy down here. So those little tiny things are his feet. Look at him move! There is a baby sloth in this tree. That's a really cool looking iguana. Yeah, it is. Shall we see what's next? Okay. Let's take another peek and see if the baby sloth is out. Yeah, they're just having a nap, hiding from the rain. It's anemones. Anemones? Oh, and little sea urchins? 
It feels so strange now seeing all these fish and sea life in a tank in an aquarium rather than when we're out diving. a male. Pretty big, dude. Look at my friend. What should we name him? Uh, I like Rupert. Rupert? He looks like a Rupert. Alright, then Rupert it is. Rupert the Iguana. Those are like this long. Head bobbing at you. Oh no. And she's found water in the wilderness. Is it good, Dale? Um, I'm so thirsty, it's so hot out. Save some for Justin. what you're looking for in there? That's good. I'm gonna go see if the sloth is out and about. Can you more water? Mass water? Mass agua? You just got rid of a bunch of that. Now you're putting it back in? I'm just so thirsty. It might be because of all the beer you drank last night. <laughs> Alright Justin, what did you think about the Smithsonian tour? It's super cool. I mean, there's not a ton of stuff to see, but there's turtles that you get to get up real close to and then they actually let you touch the starfish, which uh, I didn't know you could do okay, but you can. And they have these tiny little feet and uh, iguana lay eggs apparently and uh, frogs have green bones. But yeah, super cool. Um, and they have fish from uh, four different oceans. Three different oceans? And that was really cool too. What about you, Dale? What did you take away from the Smithsonian? Well, I got to see my first baby, baby sloth. He's in the tree right up here, and that's super exciting. Um, yeah, it was a pretty fun tour. There's lots to see. There's also little raccoons, but every time we saw one, they'd be so quick that we didn't get to film them. Uh, and an iguana that kept climbing in the tree, but we just couldn't get it when it was in there. Yeah, he only climbed the tree when the camera wasn't on. So yeah, I think now we need to go find ourselves a cold drink, because it is hot out. Okay, let's go. After we're done at the Smithsonian, we head over to Hacienda Colombiana 
for some ice cold beers and to talk to the owner, Javier, about next week's Cruiser's Night. The weather today was extra hot in Panama, so the beers are tasting ice cold and extremely refreshing, so we end up sticking around for more than one. Okay, so we enjoyed the Smithsonian and we uh, just finished up at the local watering hole, Hacienda Colombiano. Now we're headed to Felipe Mota. Mota. To we buy some uh, boat beers. Boat beers. What, what do you figure? Six? Twelve? Well, we gotta get 12 just for Kevin 24? and then we're probably ah. gonna get 12. So yeah, like 24. Oh, 24? and we checked our audio with the microphone and our last scene for some reason didn't record, but I was uh. super excited to tell you guys that the most fun fact that I thought I learned from today was that starfish actually eject their stomachs and digest their food outside of their bodies and then bring their tummies back inside. Isn't that so weird? Yeah, kind of gross too. <laughs> Favorite? My favorite too. Give me something back. You can't complain about getting 30 beers and a bag of chips for under $30. It might be a bit of a walk to Felipe Moda but it's definitely worth the savings rather than paying $1.25 at the other store per beer. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching! If you haven't already, check out our Patreon page where you can help support the making of these videos at patreon.com slash DJ's Dives. Please subscribe to our channel, like, and share this video. We have a new video every Sunday morning. See, See you next week! week.